Okay. Okay. The next piece that we need to talk about is do's and don'ts. Like any other job, any other profession, there are things that you should do, ways that you should behave, ways that you should um, conduct yourself, both to your peers and to the people that work for you. So part of the course, we will give you some ideas of both do's and don'ts that you will be able to download and keep as an aid memoir. But it's very important that you do read these things. You need to make sure, for example, on the do side, you should always be punctual. Make sure, if you can, that you're the first person in the office in the morning. Because nothing makes people worry about their time giving more than arriving and finding that the boss is sitting there with his coffee. They think, oh, oh, am I late? Am I late? They probably aren't, but it makes them think. It makes them keep their time keeping up. Always be polite to people. Always say please, say thank you. Always acknowledge them, say good morning. Talk a little bit about the weather or something. Just to make them feel at ease, you know, not that you're there with a stopwatch saying, oh, you're two minutes late, we're going to take two minutes off your wages this month. Be nice. Doesn't cost anything. And the thing to remember when you're going up the ladder, all these people that you're being nice to will still be there when you're coming back down. And if you're bad to them, they will also remember that when you're coming back down and maybe they're becoming your boss. So be nice. These are some of the do's. Some of the don'ts. Don't ever ask anybody to do something that you won't do or can't do. If you tell them, I want you to go out and stand in the middle of that rainstorm holding a metal rod up, they'll think, oh, really? No, no, no. If you won't do it, why should they? If it's dangerous or something, no, you don't put them in that position. Never make anybody feel uncomfortable, belittled, and make sure your staff don't do that to other people as well. Too many people on commissioning tend to treat the operators who are there to help them as you know, just another tool. It's like a spanner or something. It's something they're provided with to do work for them. No, they're not. They're there to learn. They're there to help. And they're there for you to teach them the right way to do things. Be nice to people. Help them any way that you can, because they will then help you. It may not seem like it at the time, but there will come a day in the future when, yes, somebody will think, oh, this man helped me seven years ago when I was just an operator. Now I'm the big boss. I will help him. Always remember. The other things to do, don't be late for meetings. If you call a meeting and you call it for nine o'clock, don't come at ten past or quarter past. You might have 20 people sitting there who've been waiting 15 minutes for you. 20 people times 15 minutes is five hours of time lost to the company cost money. And if it's a daily meeting, no, you can't afford that. Also, be approachable. Keep an open door policy in your office. You want to know something? If the door is shut, just knock. You'll either be told come in or wait, whatever. But always make sure that your people can reach you. Don't be a figure that arrives in a car first thing in the morning and they never see you again until you leave at night. Be part of the team. Any manager is only as good as his team. Make sure you get a good team. Make sure that you treat them properly and it will pay dividends for you at later dates. There's a nice thing I remember now when you say this uh, team and part of the team and it inspires me to think about uh, leadership. So uh, there's a nice thing. It's, it goes like that. Um, um, leaders have followers and managers have subordinates. Yes, indeed. Oh. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> yes. Well, this is what I said. Don't ask somebody to do something you won't do. Yeah. If there's a dirty job to do or something, I'm not saying that you have to do it, but at least make a start with them. Show them that you are willing to do it. 
If you're really clever, what you do is you arrange for your secretary or somebody else to call you 10 minutes after the job starts. <laughs> you're needed urgently on the phone. Oh, excuse me, guys, I've got to go. <laughs> but they know that you are willing to do it in the first place. Yeah, it, good idea. A lot of it is psychology, kidology, whatever you want to call it. But you have to treat people properly. The, the days of just being a number, although in some parts of the world, unfortunately, it still is, they're a number, and that's all that people are interested in. Did number three come to work this morning? Has he gone home yet? Did he do a full day's work? No. Don't make your team like that. Make your team that you know that John came to work at time this morning, that John has left. John worked hard all day. Not number three. It's not nice. You wouldn't want to be called number three. Okay, we have... A lot of more points on this list and we will make this list available for yeah. you to download. Yeah. So if you find this helpful, you can download as well the full list. And also remember, any time having done the course, having read the lists, if you have any questions, send us an email and ask. We will always reply and always help if we can. Not a problem. That's what we're there for, to help you and to make you better at the job.